สวัสดีค่ะ everyone today I'm gonna show you how to create this lovely water lily from uh, green papaya and I paint it with food color to give this a little color so you can see it better here put it large if you use the uh, large head of uh, papaya and if you don't have papaya you can use uh, some kind of head vegetable like turnip or daikon radish or Korean daikon radish that is pretty large head of a vegetable. So let's get started. I'm using the green papaya here today and uh, like I say, if you don't have green papaya on hand, try to substitute with different vegetable that are suitable in your area and uh, easy for you to uh, create your own carving. You're gonna, gonna cut either one in. If you want a larger one, you can use this in here. It will be a very large. When you use this in, it will be a little smaller version of uh, flower there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this in because uh, I already have the large file I need a small one. You're gonna cut down about uh, four inches at least. It's determined how long the tall, the length of your uh, cut is the, the height of the file here that you're gonna create, okay? So I'm gonna cut about four inches here, about this long. This is what gonna look like, I'm gonna wipe out the uh, why stop that on papaya here? That means papaya very fresh. You have the why stop on it. You don't need to peel it off because we're gonna use the outer layer to be part of the leaf of our or the outer layer of our uh, water lily. So just keep the skin on. Now you're gonna cut a thin slice. You don't want it too thick because you need a lot of uh, space here to create your petal. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut thin slice of my leaf here, outer leaf. Then cut it straight down almost to the bottom. Like that and bend it down a little bit okay and then leave some space in between so you create another layer so go ahead and cut continue cutting If you're not comfortable holding up just like I did here, you can lay it down and uh, cut your petals. You get about five sections. There you go. You will have something like this. Okay, pretty quick. 
before you go to the next step, it might be easier to start working on your uh, outer layer of the flower here. I'm having this tool. If you don't have it, uh, you can use the knife to scrape the design on your uh, outer layer here. I'm going to go ahead and scrape this to put a vein effect on my outer layer. before I start trimming it. This tool come in handy because it make a quick mark on your carving. All right, can you see there? Can you see the, the mark on the leaf lightly? Okay. The reason I told you to do this first is uh, it will be easy when you go to the next step because you don't have to kind of dig in there try to put the mark on your outer layer when you got too many layers going. Okay, there's it. Now, another technique that uh, and quick and easy is I bought this for my uh, DIY project is the Jaggedy 8 scissor that you cut the paper so I'm gonna trim the edge with this scissor here okay so you try to cut it from the center and curve it I'm going one direction first then I will go back on the other side if you cut your vegetable too thick it's not gonna work okay guy so keep in mind that it have to be quite thin that I'm gonna switch my scissor and then cut it on the other side. You know, this is like cheating in the term of carving. Normally you're supposed to do all the work here with your knife but sometimes if you need to do a lot of carving then whatever tool help you get your job done is perfect for me now as you see I leave the tip here it's pretty uh, square so I'm gonna go back use my knife here and trim that tiny bit to give this piece a finishing touch. See? Use the knife to trim the edge. Okay, you see there, all finished, and bend this down. Papaya is very forgiving, it's very flexible, so you can bend them without breaking it. Now, this corner that I told you to leave the spade, we're gonna use the uh, carving tool. I'm using U-shape carving tool here to carve this section. 
in between the first layer, push it all the way down. Okay. We create this piece to give you, to give the flower some interest on the piece. So we could have this hanging piece here. There you go. So far so good. Okay. Now what you need to do is trim this area. Oops. Square it off because you're gonna create this other layer on this area here on this surface so we need to trim this and square it off Okay, see there? Now what we need to do, we go ahead and cut it in slice in between this section here, see there? Thin slice. Once you square the area out, you need to cut a thin slice. I'm using the scrap to push down the area that I want to be cut, okay? To open up the space One more will be finished with this layer here. Okay, you got your second layer already. Okay. Now we need to trim out the corner here. I'm up use the scrap to open up my spade here so I can cut it better. See there? So we're gonna trim and flat the corner again. So we can start our next layer.
break it too thick. Let me trim that out. Okay, now once we cut trim off the edges what we need here we need to trim this area here you can do it this way get some scrap lay underneath it and then cut it by knife just like I have here this way is protect from cutting in the area that you don't want to, okay? Underneath, so you have this petal, see there? Or you can use scissors here to trim the petal or reshape your petals. Whatever uh, is easier for you. The uh, scissor here, sometimes it doesn't have a clean cut because it's not sharp like a knife, okay? Unless you cut pretty thin slice, then it will cut perfectly. One last one. Okay, now take all this scrap out and reveal your piece. See there? Now, if you're gonna color the water lily just like I have, I put some mark here with my tool. I'm gonna scrape off each petal with a line. Straight, up, down motion. So when you put some color on it, it will the color will run into this channel that you just made here and will give you a pattern of a water lily flower. Okay, now we ready to Go on our next layer again you're gonna carve in between each layer this one is not quite pretty let me trim it okay now thin slice we go a little bit and then push it down. Be sure that you lift the back of the knife so it doesn't cut your next petals. And uh, 
stitch it. Again, we go drag, lift the back of your knife. You have a long knife, knife, okay. Move the piece. Or I have this square knife here. Continue. Okay, get all the petals ready again, or you can use the same thing, you can use the carving knife as well here, let me show you that. Whichever uh, method you want to use to reshape your petal is fine by me, as long as you get the job done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my scissor here to trim out the petals. One last one here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my knife, kind of push it down a little bit in case I didn't cut it all the way down lightly. Okay, got about two layer. So what we need to do now again, we have to trim out a little bit here, the corner. Now, because the papaya have a hollows uh, on the inside, that means you can create the center like this one here. So what you need to do, we need to use another technique to cover this uh, ho hollow side here to, to be part of the pollen and the part of the wall lily here.
Actually, we can go another layer here before we Well, I think that might be a little bit too thin. Let's 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 call it a uh, finish here and go ahead and start carving the pollen of the water. I mean the the water water lily here. So what we do now, we need to use the tool to create that again. I'm going to go ahead and trim it down a little bit, otherwise it will be too high. The center will be too high, too tall, so we cut it down. And use this tool here. Same thing, you're gonna slightly cut it to the base and then push it out. Slightly scrape it off, then you will get a small uh, steam here. If you push it too hard, it will be too large. So the size is not going to match your file, okay? You can't see it here. Let me push it. After you go around, finish, then you need to take the knife and trim the edge out. Clean it up to create a smooth surface. You will go another round, which means you're gonna cut another layer. Okay, let me put it.
Now we're gonna cut one more time. Okay, start with our two here. Okay, now once you finish again, oops, I thought I'm gonna keep the part, but somehow I just break it. So let me see if I can trim it down. I'm trying to save the inside here. Okay. Okay, you can save the part, whatever left like this, and insert another piece to cover that hole here. Or you can take it all out and create another piece to put it back in here. It's up to you. But if you're using uh, different type of vegetable like radish or any vegetable that not eat papaya then you will not have this hollow shape like I have here so you're gonna have a salad uh, piece inside so you can create this area here okay now I'm just show you what happened but I'm gonna take it out and recreate another piece to go in here I'm gonna use the uh, carrot here. Do I have any carrot? No, I don't have any carrot with me. I'm using the carrot here to be part of the part here inside so you can see it. So if you're gonna color this like I have, Use it white, okay? I 
I'm gonna trim it so it fit inside here. I'm gonna cut a little edge, create like a, a part of the flower. Let me use the toothpick here. There you go. See there? And then bend that. And you're gonna soak this in the water here so the file become fresh and uh, form uh, petals will be formed in a different way here and try to hold this back inside What do you think? My instruction might be uh, kind of a little slow today and I'm not, maybe not clear to you guys. I am apologize for that. So keep an eye on the video, how I use the technique might be easier to uh, you know, some people say I talk too much, but if I didn't say anything, then you guys will be able to to understand what I'm trying to do. It's a lot of video video that just cop, doesn't say anything, so you kind of guess what they are making. So right now, I'm trying to create a video that uh, maybe my language not quite clear, but I'm trying to help you guys out so you see my technique or how I create my piece. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, water lily carving here that I show you the technique with the two. If you don't have two, then try to uh, minimize or uh, somehow find a way to cut out some of the step or try to use different tool to create uh, the way I have done here with the two. So that is the finished one without the color and this is the one with the color here so i hope you guys enjoyed this section with me thank you for watching you guys stay safe and uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel to be uh, notified on my next video and keep the thumb up if you like this and uh, keep the comment coming thank you for watching Stay safe. Bye-bye, everyone. สวัสดีค่ะ